There are some theories of story and story development software products that are good at analyzing and others that are good at creating. Dramatica is a rare bird in that respect in that it does both equally well. As a result, Dramatica is a powerful tool if you're writing from scratch or if you're rewriting something you've already developed. When you're writing with Dramatica, the idea is to try and figure out what your story is about and to develop it. Now there are some writers, the structuralists, who will want to go in and create a raw dramatic structure in any one of the tools available and then develop each story point into the real people, places, and events that will populate their story. The inspirationists, on the other hand, will want to go into those same tools and use the storytelling features first to describe the notions and thoughts and creative visions they have for their story and then to find and refine the structure in those visions. Either way you want to work, structure first or storytelling first, you'll still be able to end up with both by the time you're finished and that will be a complete story created from scratch. If you're rewriting, you want to analyze a story you already have to find and then refine the dramatic structure and fine-tune your storytelling. And this will be done two ways depending on whether you're a structuralist or an inspirationist. A structuralist will look at what they have and then answer the structural questions throughout Dramatica to try and determine the closest structure to what they've actually created. They'll begin by going to the most important story points because when you start a structure anything is open and if you select the story points that are most important to you that will naturally be in line with your storytelling. Then as they continue to answer structural questions and Dramatica's story engine begins to predict other dramatic elements that need to be in there to support what you've already chosen some of those predictions by Dramatica may not match what was done in the story, at which point the structuralist will simply rewrite the storytelling to bring it into better line with a sound and complete structure. Now the inspirationist would just about go nuts trying to work that way. Instead, when rewriting, the inspirationist will want to look at the story and then describe what they see in the story in the storytelling areas of Dramatica. And when all the descriptions that you can think of putting in for all the story points that are meaningful have material in them, then you go to the story structuring area and you start building a structure based on what you see in your own words. In this way, the storytelling takes precedence. Now, even though you still go through and find inconsistencies as you work down from the most important story point to the least, you're going to have a choice as an inspirationist and say, well, maybe the storytelling is just so darn powerful and maybe the structure here is not really important that I should just violate structure and leave that story point as it is anyway. You see, that's the nice thing about Dramatica. You don't have to follow what it says. It just forces you to be aware of its suggestions. So never again, as an inspirationist, will you create a story and have it be so much mush without realizing that that's what you intended to do. So anytime you come across a discrepancy, you can bring it into line if you'd like to, or you can determine that the storytelling is more important and just write it the way that you originally envisioned it. As a final thought, remember that Dramatica is just a theory and a software product that implements it. If you find something that's useful to you, then it's a useful tool. If you find an area you disagree with, then go your own way because it's much more important to enjoy the process of writing, to express yourself, and to put the words out on paper that are meaningful to you than it is to follow any system, formula, or not. And best of all, unlike story editors and development executives and all the friends who endlessly pester you about changes they think you should make in the story you let them read, if you get tired of what Dramatica is telling you, you can just unplug it. For more information about how to write or rewrite using Dramatica, check out the help system, go into the Dramatica tutorial, and there's a whole section here on developing a new story or working with an existing story in Dramatica. If you haven't been to this help area, you're going to find this the most useful surprise in your Dramatica software.